Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the determinancy of the beam. There are three main types of the beam depending on the determinancy. Either the beam is determinant beam, the indeterminant beam or the unstable beam. So we are going to find out the determinancy for the following types of the beam. So if the beam is the R is equal to 3N, if for the beam follows this formula R is equal to 3N, then this will be the determinant beam. I will also explain that what is R and what is N. This will be determinant beam. If R is greater than 3N, it will be indeterminant beam. And this type of beam cannot be solved by simple equilibrium equation, but we need some other other things to consider in order to find out the support reactions for the indeterminate beam. The third one is when the R is less than 3N, then such type of beam will be unstable beam. While the two beams are always stable. So now what is R? R is the number of reactions in a beam. Number of reactions in a beam. 3 is a factor and it is a standard factor, while n is equal to the number of segments. That how many segments in beam are? Either the beam has one segment, like this has one segment, this beam has one segment, this beam has two segments, one is this segment and one is this segment. This beam has one, two, three segments. So n is the number of segments, r is the number of reactions, n if r is equal to 3n it will be determinant beam if r is greater than 3n it will be indeterminate beam if r is less than 3n it will be unstable beam which will be collapsed during the loading condition so now to find out the determinancy of the beams this is an simply supported beam so it is a hand support so it can take the vertical load as well as the horizontal load and also this is a roller support so it can also take the vertical load. So this is the one reaction, two reaction and three reaction. So R is the number of reaction. So there are three reaction for this beam. So R is equal to three. Now this beam is only one segment. So N is equal to one for this beam. N is equal to one. Now R is three is equal to the R is three and this is a factor of three and n is 1 here, so we will put here 1, so it means 3 is equal to 3, so it means if r is equal to 3n, it means it is a determinant beam, so in this case r is equal to the 3n, so this beam is a determinant beam, it is a stable and determinant beam, we can find out the reaction for this beam without considering some other rules, now coming to this beam, there will be the three reaction for this support one two and three because it is a fixed support and it can take the vertical horizontal and movement so one two three and also there is a hand support so it can also take the vertical and horizontal load so there should be four and five so r is the number of reactions are five now this is also one segment so n is equal to one so r is five and 3 is the standard value, if you multiply it with the 1, so 5 is greater than 3, so we can say that 5 is greater than 3, so it is indeterminate beam, so this will be called as the indeterminate beam. So we cannot find out the reaction for this beam by simply the equilibrium equation, but we can use some other rules in order to find out the support reactions for this beam. So that's why it is called is the indeterminate beam. We cannot apply the simple equilibrium equation, the summation of moment or the summation of vertical forces or the summation of horizontal forces equal to zero. We cannot use this equilibrium equation in order to find out the support reaction for this beam because it is indeterminate beam. While for the determinant beam, we can find out the support reactions by using this equilibrium equation. Now, coming to this problem, or we can start from here. Let's suppose 
this is in a beam and these are the supports provided for the beam so this is a hinge support so it can take the vertical and horizontal load this is a roller support so it can only take the vertical load this is a roller support so it can also take the vertical load and this is a hinge support so it can take the vertical and horizontal load now there are support regions one two three four five six there are six reactions so r is equal to six and number of segments are this is one segment this is two segment and this is third segment because we have three different segments in this beam so n will be equal to three now now we have we know that n is equal to three so we should multiply n with the three so it becomes when three is multiplied with n it comes out to be three multiplied we know that n is three so it is nine and the reaction we have is six so it means six are the number of reaction is less than the nine three n so six is less than n it means that this beam is unstable beam it should be kept in mind for such type of beam we need more support in order to make it stable so now coming to this beam this is a fixed support beam it is one fixed support so it can take the vertical horizontal and the moment and it is a hinge support so it can take the vertical and horizontal it is a roller support so it can take only the vertical load now there are number of reaction one two three four five and six are the number of reactions the number of segments are one two so n is equal to two now we should multiply three n so three n is equal to three multiplied with the two because n is two here so it is six so 3n is 6 and r is also 6. So these two are equal. r is equal to 3n or we can say 6 is equal to 6 because number of reactions are 6 and 3n is also 6. So it means when these are equal, it is called is the determinant beam and we can easily find out the support reactions for such type of beam by using this equilibrium equations. Hope you guys understand how to find out the determinancy of the beams and how to classify the determinancy of the beam. Either it is determinant, indeterminate or the unstable beam. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for DDC1 engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.